everyone, it's Lisa Bonjean from Primitive Gatherings and we are here for another day for our Hogs for Heroes auction. Now what is Hogs for Heroes? It is a Wisconsin-based nonprofit where a combat vet is gifted a Harley Davidson motorcycle and it's an awesome way to help them heal from their injuries. The auction starts April 21st through May 1st and we will be auctioning off an item at 8 a.m and at 12 p.m. during the week. So two items during the week, one on the weekend. Now the highest bidder will be contacted at the end of the auction and we will get your method of payment and it will include shipping as well. So with that said, I hope we have an awesome auction and I hope you win a great prize. Hey everyone, we have a fun auction item for you today. It's a mystery box, but I'm gonna reveal the mystery. I'll go through and show you what one Canadian customer sent us to auction off for our awesome cause. So starting off, we have some foundation papers for a pineapple block, quilting gloves, a little rubber pad to set your iron on, a charm pack from Cherry and Chelsea called Walkabout. Quilt hang-up. Go sleeveless. I'll let you figure out what that is. We have a Kona charm pack of all the same teal. It's got a little smooshed up in there. There we go. Another charm pack. Sun print from Allison Glass. Lots of goodies in here. Christmas fat quarters, two of them. A little mini stash and store. More fat quarters. Let's see what this is. A label set, that looks fun. More fat quarters, more fat quarters. I think they're fat quarters anyway. Don't hold me to it. But yeah, that one felt thicker. So a variety of fabrics, super nice donation in here. So more fabric, a pin cushion already made, Microtex needles, more needles. Ooh, what are these? I don't know, mystery. Washi tape that has floral. At home with Bonnie and Camille. That looks like a charm pack that's been rolled up. Oh, I think it looks bigger than that. Who knows? Bunch of fabric. Oh, look at that Aurifil thread. What a nice donation. A great scissors. This is one of those for clipping your piecing. Unicorn pins from Tula Pink. Flatten your seams so you don't have to go to the iron. More washi tape. A seam ripper that looks like it's hand tooled by Alex Anderson. I'm sure Alex didn't do it, but has her name on it. So it's an awl and a seam ripper. There you go. My favorite marking pen for wool applique, an air marking pen, more needles, three packs of needles. This looks like a layer cake. These aren't quite fat quarters, but they're super cool. Tula ruler, pins. Oh, these are like d dual pins. They have two things on them. A tape measure, you can always use one of these. I'm always looking for those. A tweezers. A rose gold scissors. Embroidery scissors. I think this goes on here. A small spool of Aurifil. A unicorn ruler. Cute. 
Ofa six and a half inch ruler. More needles. I use a lot of those, so perfect. All right, so then we have seven inch half square triangles on a roll, three and a half, eight inch braid, half square triangles, one and a half inch finished. These are bigger, um, doesn't really say, four inch, really tiny. And then these half square triangles are two and a half finished. A couple more scissors. It's got a little curve on that one. That never can have enough scissors. Really skinny washi tape. And this really tiny Omni Grid quarter inch ruler. It's actually a half inch, but a quarter inch on each side of that line. All right, that is everything in the box. So we are gonna start this one off as $30 as a starting bid. So happy bidding everyone. Today concludes our Hogs for Heroes auction. Thank you so, so much for all of your wonderful contributions. We really, really appreciate you helping us raise money for this awesome cause. I hope you had a great time as well and got some good stuff. So thanks again, and we really appreciate you. Bye now.